So this video will start off a new playlist which I'm going to call High Energy as if I don't get enough comments about my hand already and I'm going to begin by burning palladium which by being a member of the noble metals is typically defined by its inertness and unreactiveness particularly to oxidation or burning but there is a trick to getting it started and that's what I'll show in this video so this is 0.2 millimeter 99.995 percent palladium wire and this is a strip of aluminium foil so what you need to do is wrap the aluminium foil around the palladium wire twist it around and make it as tight and thin as possible and heat the end so nothing too dramatic you say but you have to appreciate that this is just a mixture of two metals it's not a fuel oxidizer mixture like in pyrotechnics but a simple intermetallic alloying reaction anyway for those still interested I can look up its properties and compare them with conventional high explosives. So aluminium and palladium, molar ratio 1 to 1, and energy is 2890 calories per mil. And we'll compare that with TNT, which is the standard high explosive from which others are compared, which is 1020 calories per gram. And we better look up C4 as well for the Call of Duty players. So that's 1400 calories per gram. So if we take them figures and convert them to the same units, you can see that alloying two metals together can produce more energy than high explosives. And I'm not exactly sure why. Logic says the bonds between the aluminium and the palladium must be tighter and stronger and shorter so in order to break those bonds it requires more energy thus to form the bonds must release energy but why these two particular metals release so much energy in a self-sustaining reaction I don't know and it's a question you could probably take up with periodic videos which I think would be right up their alley maybe if enough people ask them they'll go and do it but I don't have the full answer <laughs> that bang was me running a few amps of electricity through the intermetallic wire whereby it explodes with a loud report. I've also been able to get a similar reaction out of nichrome wire wrapped in aluminium foil as is shown here. I also wasted a hundred dollars worth of platinum trying the same thing but to no effect. <laughs> 